Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Wednesday, May the 23rd. It's the week of Pentecost and week one in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 12 and 13, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 1 through 19. And now join me in singing the second verse of Spirit Divine. Come as the light to us reveal our emptiness and woe, and lead us in those paths of life where on the righteous go. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, help me, most high, for the godly no longer exist. Alleluia, Psalms 12 and 13. Please recite them with me. Alleluia, help me, Most High, for the godly no longer exist. The faithful disappear from among us. Everyone speaks vainly with their neighbor. They speak with flattering lips and a double heart. Oh, that you would cut off all flattering lips and the tongues that speak boastful things. Those who say with our tongues will we prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor and for the sighing of the needy. Now I will rise, says the Most High. I will set them in safety from those that strike at them. The words of the Most High are pure, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times in the fire. You shall keep them, O God, you shall preserve them from this generation. The wicked walk on every side, and the vilest are exalted by everyone. Alleluia, will you forget me forever, O God? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear grief in my soul and sorrow in my heart? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O beloved God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemy say I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I fall. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to you because you have dealt generously with me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, help me, Most High, for the godly no longer exist. Alleluia. A reading from the Proverbs, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. My child, if you have given your pledge to your neighbor, if you have bound yourself to another, you are snared by the utterance of your lips and caught by the words of your mouth. So do this, my child, and save yourself, for you have come into your neighbor's power. Go hurry and plead with your neighbor. Give your eyes no sleep and your eyelids no slumber. Save yourself like a gazelle from the hunter, like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, you lazy bones. Consider its ways and be wise. Without having any chief or officer or ruler, it prepares its food in summer and gathers its sustenance in harvest. How long will you lie there, O lazy bones? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. And poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed warrior. A scoundrel and a villain goes around with crooked speech, winking the eyes, shuffling the feet, pointing the fingers. With perverted mind, devising evil, continually sowing discord. On such a one, calamity will descend suddenly in a moment damage beyond repair. There are six things that the Most High hates, seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, 
hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that hurry to run to evil, a lying witness who testifies falsely, and one who sows discord in a family. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us, O God, in your ways, that we may become a godly people. Let us never forget the poor and the needy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.